Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to look at how we can detect and interpret touch events on the mobile phone um, in our quest to build a clone of 2048. And this is the third video in the series. In the first video, we saw how to create buttons and how to change scenes. In the second video, we created the grid and created a square in the grid. And so now, like I said, we're going to be interpreting the touch um, touch events and trying to work out if these are left to right or up and down. So if we haven't met you before, my name is David. Um, I have 15 years of experience in the video games industry, working on PC games, console games, mobile games. For me, coding is fun. Coding is a game. It's a game of construction, a game of logic, and it's a game I want to share. So come play with me. So we were here, we created the grid that we can see here, and we did so in a game scene. In the game scene, we created a rectangle. So what we actually did is we created a group which contains the background square, the lines, and the, the piece that is placed here, which has the color 16 and which is an ugly green. Um, so what we're going to do is add an event listener for touch on the BG, on the background. If we look at the documentation for um, Solar 2D, what we're simply going to do is copy paste this event here, this, well, this function here, and basically put this in... So here we have the creation and this group is actually here, stage group. So actually we're going to um, add the touch listener here in the show event. We want to do it on the BG. So actually what we're going to do is here, we're going to say group dot BG equals BG. So I'm, we're going to store a reference, sorry, BG. We're going to store a reference to the background inside the group and then we store the group inside a reference inside the scene and so here if we say local background oh, let's do object that'll make it simpler object equals scene dot stage dot background so we're going to get the background and get the get the stage and get the background which is stored in the stage and now here this we don't i haven't actually put an id we don't need an id um what this does is it sets a focus and then when that focus is set it it listens to the stage now the event listener has three um stages maybe four depending on how you count it there's the begun, began, sorry, phase here, the moved phase, and actually, and two phases here, which are actually the end is either ended or cancelled, which corresponds to either ended is when you lift your finger up, and cancelled is basically when you move off the when you move off the screen. That counts as cancelled because you don't actually lifted your finger, you just stop touching, if that makes sense. So here what we're going to do in the uh, phase, in the move phase, I'm just going to comment out these logs and now we will do a loop on the event. So for k v in pairs of the event, do, let close it up here and I'm going to just going to do print k v so that's like going to print out for all the event all the pairs of um, key and values inside the event which is a table so if i get this going here it's going to relaunch and if i pay attention here to the um what's in the simulator once i've started it up if it works yes when i move here we can see every message here corresponds to a um a phase and what's interesting is, is that I have a Y and a Y start, and I have an X and an X start. And so that is going to enable me to um, see how far the finger has moved on the X axis and on the Y axis. So if I just do 
here. I'm just going to comment this out. We're going to do local x diff equals event x minus event x start. Sorry, missed the event. X start and again local y diff equals event. So this is going to show me the differential between the start point and the current point on the x and the y axes. Now if I do if math apps of x diff is bigger than say I don't know 100 pixels or something well um, should really use uh, the the screen size here uh, but we can uh, we can adjust that later then now if the it's been moved on the y axis that means it's a vertical uh, horizontal movement so it's a print horizontal and what we're going to do here is we're going to remove well cancel self is focused we're going to say we've 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 we're going to stop having the focus here and so we're going to stop listening to the or reacting to the movie event which means that if we move uh once we've detected the movement we're going to stop detecting it and take it into account um so otherwise it would fire every time the finger keeps moving so we'd, we'd have fire 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 um here we just want to have the same thing on the vertical axis so here we go if we do y diff it's bigger than 100 it's vertical now let's just have a look at what that does if i relaunch start if i move up vertical if i move horizontally horizontal we see that the the um the the events being triggered now what i want is actually have greater precision than that i want to see if it's moving right or left or up or down now the interesting thing to note is that the um origin of the the coordinates is in the top left so if the x differential is positive that means we're moving right if it's negative it's moving left and in the same way if the y differential is positive it means we're moving down and if it's negative it means we're moving up so if we're going to take that into account here we can say if x diff is greater than zero so if we're positive then print um, so this is x so positive means right and the opposite of that is print left there we go and oh and here end and if we just pick that up and y diff and so if it's positive we're going down and if it's negative that means we're going up um and i'm just going to remove this log which is no longer useful because obviously if we're going up it's vertical and let's try this again relaunch simulator start and going up there we go going down yes going right okay and left cool up down left right we're good to go so in this video we saw how to um, add a touch listener to an object and um, how to interpret the touch event um, to detect if the touch is going left or right or up or down um, and then um, in the next video, what we'll do is then we'll start taking that interpretation uh, of up, down, left, right, and interpreting that as a move in the game, um, and then impacting the squares uh, based on that movement, so moving the squares up and down and so on. And then, so we're going to start basically constructing the game logic. If you found this video useful, um, feel free to leave a like button. Uh, or even to see if you want to have notifications and to follow the rest, um, please subscribe. If you have any questions, if you have any comments, if you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I was very pleased to present this video to you. And my name is David and uh, see you soon.